welcome in the sixth lecture of the course convective heat transfer. In this lecture, we will be discussing about forced convection at high Prandtl number over flat plate. First, let me discuss about the outline of this lecture. First, we will be recapitulating the knowledge uh, about low Prandtl number cases, which we have discussed in the previous lecture. Okay. And then we will be studying forced convection over a flat plate for large Prandtl number fluids. Okay. We will be obtaining the temperature profile over the flat plate inside thermal boundary layer. And we will be expressing the Nusselt number for this uh, high Prandtl number cases. Okay. In terms of in terms of Prandtl number, we will be expressing that one. So, as uh, first uh, point is to see that uh, what we have discussed in the last lecture. If you remember, in the last lecture, we have discussed about the energy equation, uh, reduced energy equation, theta double dashed plus Prandtl number f theta dashed is equals to zero. Here, theta is actually a function of eta. We have proved that boundary condition will be coming as theta 0 is 0 and theta infinity is actually 1. Okay. From there, we have uh, shown that what is the temperature profile coming out. Okay. Temperature profile, generalized temperature profile comes out in the form of this one, which depends on the Prandtl numbers. Okay. Uh, and then we have taken two cases, Prandtl number is equals to 1 case and Prandtl number tends to 0 case. So, for Prandtl number equals to 1 case, where uh, fluid is having uh, more or less e equivalent to 1 Prandtl number, in those case we have found out Nusselt number into Rex to the power minus half is actually a constant 0 0.332. Okay. If Prandtl number is equals to 1, then this becomes 0 0.332 and of the order of Prandtl number equals to 1, this value will be uh, changing. Okay. And for force convection uh, at low Prandtl number case, Prandtl number tends to 0. So, we have shown that Nusselt number into Rex to the power minus half is actually dependent on Prandtl number to the power half. So, this is 0 0.564 into Prandtl number to the power half. Okay. And here, uh, the temperature profile we have shown in this fashion, where uh, theta eta is actually root over of 4 by pi 0 to root over of P r by 2 into eta. So, this is the upper limit e to the power minus t square d t. Okay. So, this we have shown in the uh, last lecture for uh, low Prandtl number cases. Okay. In this lecture, let us start with uh, high Prandtl number cases. So, Prandtl number is uh, very high greater greater than 1 or we can say Prandtl number tends to infinity. So, this will be the case for thin thermal boundary layer. Okay. So, already we have showed that this is the case for thin thermal boundary layer. So, in case of thin thermal boundary layer, uh, delta t will be smaller than the velocity boundary layer delta. Okay. Uh, so, these are the velocity boundary layer profile and thermal boundary layer profile with dotted line respectively. Okay. The concept of velocity and thermal boundary layer has been already discussed. Now, let us see that inside this thermal boundary layer, uh, uh, what, what is happening? So, inside this thermal boundary layer actually eta is very small because thermal boundary layer thickness itself is uh, thinner than the velocity boundary layer thickness. So, that actually limits within a very small value of eta. Okay. So, eta is very small. So, if eta is very small, what we can do? We can write down the expression of f, which is a function of eta from velocity boundary layer as a function of uh, Taylor series expansion. So, you see this is Taylor series expansion of f and here eta is very small quantity. Okay. Now, from the boundary conditions of velocity boundary layer, we know that f of 0 is 0 and f dashed is 0. So, first two term actually cancels out. So, we get f is actually of the order of half f double dashed eta square if we neglect the higher order terms. Okay. So, f order we have got like this. Now, in our course, thermal boundary layer will be important. So, inside this thermal boundary layer, we have found out theta double dash plus P r f theta dash is equals to 0. This we have already derived in the last lecture. And there, this f can be replaced as half f double dash eta square, okay, because the order we have got uh, from uh, velocity boundary layer order analysis, scale analysis. So, here we can write down theta star plus Prandtl number in terms of, in place of f, we have written half f double dash eta square theta, do, theta dash comes over here is equals to 0. So, for Prandtl number greater than greater than 1 or Prandtl number very high value, this equation actually uh, is very important. Okay. 
Now let us try to rearrange and try to do the integration of the previous equation whatever we have shown over here. If we do the side change little bit we can find out 1 by theta dashed into theta double dashed which is nothing but d theta dashed by d eta is actually on the right hand side minus pr f double dashed eta square by 2. Okay, so, this uh, we can uh, do by rearranging and now if we integrate it once, so this becomes ln theta dashed the left hand side and the right hand side it becomes eta square becomes eta cube by 3 plus a constant. Okay. Now, this constant can be written as logarithmic of a. Okay. So, if we plug uh, these two logarithms together, then we can write down d theta by d eta which is nothing but theta dashed is equals to a into e to the power minus p r f double dashed eta cube by 6. This 6 came by 2 into 3. So, this is 6. Okay. So, if you do one once more integration and put the limits from 0 to eta which is nothing but the thermal boundary layer limits, then you will be getting in the right hand side a 0 to eta e to the power minus p r f double dashed eta cube by 6 into d eta. Okay. So, uh, if we put the uh, limits over here, so this becomes theta eta minus theta 0 is equals to a into this term prevails over here. Okay. Now, let us put the boundary conditions of theta. So, this term we know this is theta 0 which is at the wall. So, this uh, as we have taken the uh, non-dimensionalization of temperature uh, to theta in such a fashion that at the wall theta becomes 0. So, theta 0 is 0 and away from the wall theta eta is actually 1. So, if we put both these things over here, so it becomes theta infinity okay, which is nothing but 1 is actually a. 0 to infinity e to the power minus p r f double dash eta cube by 6 into d eta. Okay. Then let us try to uh, simplify it further as we have done in the previous case Prandtl number low Prandtl number case. So, here you see we have considered uh, this uh, expression which was there just uh, as a coefficient of the e okay, as a power of the e. So, that we take as t cube. So, if you take as t cube this one t becomes this one and d eta can be written as 6 by p r f double dash to the power one third into d t. Okay. Now, what we can do for finding out the value of a we, we can replace eta by t and uh, d eta by d t into 6 by p r f double dash to the power one third as we have derived over here. Okay. So, a becomes p r f double dash by 6 to the power 1 third and this integration will be remaining 0 to infinity e to the power minus t cube into d t. Okay. Also, we know theta dashed. Okay. So, from the previous uh, slide you can see theta dashed is nothing but a e to the power this term p r f double dash eta cube by 6. Okay. So, from there we can find out what is the theta dash at wall? Okay, so theta dash at the wall will be helping us to find out the heat flux. So theta dash at the wall is actually a into which is actually a because eta equals to zero means this term will be cancelling out. So this is a. Now a already we have shown is this one. So theta dash zero that means at wall theta dash will be actually becoming this term. Okay, where this e to the power minus t cubes integration needs to be evaluated. Okay. Let us try to do that. So, uh, first what we will be considering this t cube is equals to w. Okay. If you consider this one then 3 t square d t becomes d w and d t becomes d w by 3 w to the power 2 third. Okay. So, if we put everything over here in this integration it becomes 0 to infinity e to the power minus w d w by 3 w to the power 2 by 3. Okay. Further reduction will be giving you this, this type of integration 0 to infinity w to the power minus 2 by 3 e to the power minus w d w. Okay. Now, we know that this is nothing but actually gamma function. Okay. This integration will be giving rise to gamma function. It will be coming from mathematics. Okay. Uh, so, this is actually gamma function of one third. Okay. So, this one third is remaining over here and this integration gives rise to gamma function of one third. If you get little bit knowledge of gamma function from mathematics, then you can find out that gamma function of one third is uh, having a constant value and multiplying that one with one third, we get 
0.892979. So the value of integration we obtain as 0.892979. Okay. Uh, also, we know from velocity boundary layer concept that f double dashed is equals to 0.4696. By the way, why we have evaluated these two constants? Because if you see here, we require f double dashed as well as this integration value. Okay? So, both the values we have found out now, we can put this over here. Okay, in, in, in theta dashed, in theta dashed, okay, uh, which was actually earlier linked up with Nusselt number and Reynolds number in previous lecture. Okay. So, this theta dashed is having uh, uh, this part, okay, so where we are having f double dashed and e to the power minus t cubes integration from 0 to infinity. So, this we have found out as 0.892979 and this f double dashed is 0.4696 and this 1 by root 2. Uh, remained earlier uh, from uh, the relationship between Nusselt number and Reynolds number with theta dashed, which has been shown in the last lecture. So, if you put all these values over here like this, okay, so we can get Reynolds number, Nusselt number and Prandtl number equation okay, and this constants will be giving rise to 0.3387 Prandtl number to the power one third. So, this is the uh, very uh, well known equation for uh, large Prandtl number cases, okay, where uh, velocity boundary layer will be dominating over uh, thermal boundary layer cases. Okay. So, uh, in uh, this one, uh, till now we have discussed about uh, cases where viscous dissipation we have neglected. Okay. But here, if we have to consider viscous dissipation, so if you remember earlier we have shown that uh, uh, with, with viscous dissipation, uh, uh, terms will be coming like this Eckhart number by Reynolds number into uh, phi star. Okay, so, here if we uh, consider the viscous dissipation, this term cannot be neglected. So, let us keep this uh, term, this is for high Eckhart number cases. So, if we keep this term along with convection and conduction, this term will be also becoming important. Okay. So, uh, let us see first that what is there inside this phi star, which is from uh, fluid mechanics once again. So, this viscous dissipation can be written as uh, 2 into del u del x whole square plus 2 into del v del y whole square plus re to the power half del u del y plus re to the power minus half del v del x whole square. By the way, this, this term actually came after conversion of small v to capital V. So, actually this term is 2 into del u by del x small x whole square plus 2 into del small v del small y whole square plus del u del small y plus del v del x whole square. Okay. So, from there if we take this uh, relationships between capital Y and small y, capital V and small v with respect to Reynolds number, then uh, this uh, viscous distribution will be reducing in this fashion. Now, let us see which term is dominant over here. So, here you can find out L is quite large. So, uh, x is uh, actually of the order of L. So, this term can be neglected. Here both v and y are of same order. Okay. So, uh, if delta, if y is actually in the terms of delta t, so v will be of the same order. So, this term is also not significant. Okay. Now, you can take r e to the power half common outside. So, you can find out that uh, it is becoming uh, del u del y over here and it is it will be becoming r e to the power minus 1 del v del x over here. So, the important term will be becoming then this one because this here also this v is very small inside this uh, thermal boundary layer cases. So, this term, this term and finally, this term these are not that much important. The important term or dominant term will be del u by del y with square over here. So, and re to the power half we have taken outside with this whole square. So, this will be becoming re. So, re and re can be cancelled. So, ultimately it becomes a cut number del u by del y whole square plus this, this and finally, this term will be coming inside this small terms. Okay. So, this Eckhart number by re into phi star is finally, reducing to uh, this dominant term. So, if you incorporate this term in your energy equation okay, and do the similar analysis whatever I have shown uh, in this lecture. So, you can find out the non-dimensional uh, equation will be coming in this form theta star plus p r f theta dashed which was earlier there. 
is equals to Eckert number P R F double dash whole square. So, this is the new term will be coming due to this viscous dissipation term Eckert number del U del Y whole square. Okay. The corresponding boundary conditions will be theta 0 is actually 1 and theta infinity is actually 0. Okay. Next let me summarize. So, uh, forced convection for uh, Prandtl number is equals to 1. Okay. So, in this case uh, we have shown theta uh, is actually f dashed and Nusselt number we have actually written as 0 0.332 into R e x to the power half. For Prandtl number tends to 0, we have shown Nusselt number is equals to 0.564 R e x to the power half and Prandtl number to the power half. Theta becomes uh, this fashion, this we have shown in the last lecture, root over of 4 by pi 0 to root over of uh, p r by 2 into eta e to the power minus t square d t into root over of 2 by p r. Okay. And in this lecture, we have shown that uh, for Prandtl number tends to infinity, very large Prandtl number, thin thermal boundary layer cases, Nusselt number into R e x to the power minus half is equals to 0 0.3387 okay, Prandtl number to the power one third. Okay. And the temperature profile we have got in this fashion, theta is equals to 0.479 Prandtl number to the power one third and then the integration 0 to eta e to the power minus p r f double dash eta cube by 6 d eta. Okay. Uh, now, uh, as like the earlier lectures, here also I would like to test your understanding from this lecture. We are having three questions over here. First one, uh, Nusselt number into R e x to the power minus half is equals to 0 0.3387 into Prandtl number to the power one third is the expression for which cases, okay, which case. We are having four uh, uh, options, high Prandtl number, low Prandtl number, Prandtl number of the order of one and for all Prandtl number it is valid. Okay. So, this is very simple just now we have discussed. So, the correct answer is obviously for high Prandtl number case, thin thermal boundary layer case. Okay. Next uh, question is for large Prandtl number case, which one we can take? Delta therm velocity boundary layer is smaller than thermal boundary layer, velocity boundary layer, layer is actually larger than thermal boundary layer, both are of same order and no decision can be made. Okay. So, this is also very simple, you know that in this case for large Prandtl number case, obviously velocity boundary layer will be dominating and delta greater, greater than delta t. Last one, which statement is not correct? Remember not correct. Okay. We are having four options for Prandtl number greater, greater than 1, f will be becoming of the order of eta. Okay. For Prandtl number greater, greater than 1, very large Prandtl number, f will be becoming of the order of half f double dash eta square. For Prandtl number equals to 1, theta becomes f dashed or all are not correct, all are wrong. Okay. So, obviously, you know the correct answer is this one is not correct because this is for the, this is for the, this f will be becoming eta for low Prandtl number cases. Okay. So, these two are correct. Okay. So, with this, I will be ending this lecture. Thank you. In the next lecture, we will be discussing about forced convection over flat plate at uniform heat flux. So, keep, keep on posting your queries in our discussion forum. Thank you. Thank you.